Mm. Yes, what is up, dudes and dudettes? Thank you for joining me again this week on Alan Learns for Wrench, your favorite channel to come and learn how to learn a language. I am on the same journey that you are on. I am trying to learn a new language. For me, I am learning French, but for you, you could be learning English, or German, or Spanish, even Afrikaans, Mandarin. Everything I go over in these videos can be applied to any language that you are learning. This is a universal toolkit for your language learning journey. And today, I will be going over how to download Anki, how to create your first deck on Anki, and how to create a basic card with images and with pronunciation. So I'm just gonna stop talking and get started. So let's go. Here, no, computer, there. All right, so I just typed Anki onto Google search and the first thing that shows up is ankiweb.net. I'm going to open it, download, and if you have Mac, then you will just download from here. You have Windows, Linux, iPhone, blah, blah, blah. You can download it from this website. So now I'm downloading it. it takes about eh, 30 seconds, 45 seconds to download. While it's downloading, I want to tell you a little bit about why I'm learning French. Before I was an English teacher, I was a chef. Yes, I went to school for culinary arts and I worked in the restaurant industry for over nine years and I loved it very much. I loved it so much that I wanted to further my career by learning another language. The skill can be very useful in the culinary industry in the United States because a lot of cooks in the United States are Spanish speakers. I saved up for two years. I enrolled in a Spanish language school called Instituto Hemingway in Bilbao, Spain. I moved there for about three months last year. And while I was there, I met a beautiful French woman who was attending the same school I was. This beautiful French woman also can speak five languages. Now she's not completely fluent in all of them, but Conversationally, she does very well in all of them. And yeah, we fell in love. And as soon as my, as soon as my time in Spain ended, I immediately started learning French and have been learning ever since. It's been over a year now. And I would say I am a lower intermediate, upper beginner speaker in French. Um, yeah, it's, it's been difficult. It's been fun. I've learned a lot and the main thing that I learned learning French is that learning a new language is a skill in itself. Training your brain to communicate in a new language is, is very difficult. It does not come natural for most people and we have to work hard. And with Anki, we are streamlining that process by taking some of the thinking and the scheduling out of our, our brains so that all we have to do is worry about learning the language. Okay, Anki is an SRS system, which means it is a spaced repetition system. Basically, you study your flashcards that you've built on Anki, and Anki will schedule when you see those flashcards. The key with the spaced repetition system is that they want to show you the card right before you forget it. And there have been several studies done on the spaced repetition system, and it shows that if you study something right before you forget it, you, this idea will will cling on to your brain just like oatmeal clings on to your pot when you don't wash it. That's what we want when we're learning a language is to not forget what we're learning. So we're not only studying flashcards using Anki, we're not only practicing our pronunciation, but we are being efficient. We're being efficient with our language learning and we're not wasting time. We are serious about this, okay? You are a serious language learner, you are going to love Anki. So Anki is finished downloading now, so let's jump right in. So now I'm going to go to my downloads right here on the top right for Google Chrome. It will appear on the bottom left. Going to open it now. It is verifying the download with the Anki app. On Mac, all I have to do is put it into my applications. Now it's copying Anki to the applications is downloaded. Now I'm going to open it. 
verifying this app and we can trust this download. So I'm going to open it. So as you can see, this is my, these are all of my decks that I use. And as you can see, I have a lot of studying and I have new cards that I haven't even looked at yet. I've, I've made so many cards on Anki so far. I study a lot of knowledge every day. Uh, grammar is kind of the main one I focus on. Uh, most frequent words. Uh, I work a lot with pronunciation, verb conjugations. Uh, as an English speaker, conjugating verbs in Latin languages are, are very difficult for me. Anki helps me uh, helps me drill all of those rules into my brain and I've really improved a lot. It's really great. So I already created a deck called Alan Learns French. To do that, all you have to do is create a deck down here in the middle, the bottom middle, and create your deck. I just typed in Alan Learns French and I'm gonna cancel, I don't wanna create a different one, but you press okay and look, it's right there. So let's create some new cards. Let's create some new cards. I'm going to click add. So on the front here, this is where I want my picture and on the back, this is where I want the word that I want to learn, okay? Along with its pronunciation. I'm going to do two basic cards and I will create cards from one sentence using the close type uh, structure of the flashcard. First, I want to write my target word, which I will use manger, which is the verb to eat. I will give myself some space below that and now I am going to look for my pictures. So already I have Google Images open. Google Images has millions and billions of pictures for you to choose from. And no matter if you type it in your mother tongue or you type it in English, whatever language, it will give you thousands of options to choose from. So just to test that, I am going to type in manger. All right, oh. Okay, so a manger is, <laughs> it's like the, where they like raise like goats, I think. It's a religious thing. I want to find a picture that I can associate with eating food. So I'm just going to type in eating food, okay? And here I have lots of options. And you may want to choose a different picture. But for me, as a former chef, I loved cooking pizza. It was one of my favorite things. So I'm gonna choose this picture, right? It's a giant slice of pizza. He looks very excited to eat it. So I'm going to right click and copy the image. I'm going to paste it here. And if you would like, you can, you can also add another picture. Um, how about this kid? He really likes eating this carrot. So copy image, go back and paste. And I can even give myself a clue. This is a verb, right? In the infinitive, 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 ah, whatever. So now all I need to add is the pronunciation of manger, right? So here, I already have forvo.com open. To use forvo, you need to create a login. You need to create it an account. I already have an account using my Alan Teaches English page on Facebook. And here I'm just going to type in manger, okay? There are seven different pronunciations of manger that I can choose from. On the right, it will show you the gender of the person talking and where they are from. So for me, I plan on moving to France. So I want someone from France to pronounce this word for me. If I choose someone from Canada, it is going to sound different. You know, I, I really want to have the, the metropolitan, you know, Paris accent. So I'm gonna choose this gentleman from France. If you're learning English, it will have people from also Canada, America, the UK, Australia, South Africa. So whatever accent that you want to acquire, you're going to want to check and make sure that you are using pronunciations from that region. So now I'm going to download this mail from France, okay? Shows up here on the downloads and it's pretty quick. It's actually very quick. So I'm just going to drag my pronunciation right under the card. Now I'm gonna add tags to it, okay? So for this, it's gonna put verb, okay? That's all I need to know. If I wanna study verbs, then I can go and all of the cards that I've made with the tag verb will show up and I can study them individually. So I'm going to add. Now it's added to my deck. It is there forever. Now I'm going to make another card, okay? This one, I'm gonna do le Lucan. Okay. Le Lucan. 
give myself some space for my pronunciation. And now I am on Google Images and I'm going to look for a picture of a wolf. Let's see here. As we can see, many pictures of wolves and uh, I don't know, they all look like wolves, nothing special, but I wanna choose my favorite one. Ooh, this one looks mean. Grr, wolf. Copy the image, gonna paste it, gonna paste it there. And just so that we don't have a, a bad idea of what wolves are, I'm gonna find like a nice looking wolf. Oh gosh, mean. Oh, this one, he looks kind of nice. Copy image, right there, paste. Cool. So I have two pictures of wolves. And again, if I want to, I can add like, what is this animal, okay? Or I can put, ah, or I can put noun. But um, let's just do what is this animal. Okay, so let's go find a pronunciation for this word. So go to the top here, uh, le loup. It's right there, le loup. And I'm going to download just like I did before. And look, it's already ready. Okay, go back, put the card underneath. Make sure that sound is underneath, there you go. So I'm going to change the tag. So I'm going to put noun and animal. Okay, so if I just want to study animals, I can study names of animals. And if I want to just study nouns in general, I can study all the nouns. This is really helpful because eventually you're going to have thousands of cards and you want to be able to work on things that you feel are a weak area in your language learning. So if I feel like, oh man, I cannot think of these animals in French, I really need to study all the animals again. So I can just search animal and study all the animals. So this card is finished and just to double check, it is in the Alan Learns French deck. Boom, okay. So now I'm going to change the type of card I want to create. So for this, close, close. As you can see, it's a little different now. And for this example, I'm just going to do a simple sentence in French. Um, so let's use uh, both of the words I actually just uh, added to my decks. So le loup, uh, mon so le loup mange une pizza okay you can create your own sentences you can get other sentences from your boozoo.com uh, lessons that confuse you or that you want to see more often or you can create your own sentences to kind of like like i said before to personalize your experience so le loup mange une pizza pizza meaning the wolf is eating a pizza okay now here is where the magic of the close uh, type of card comes in so I'm going to highlight this word and hit this little button with the parentheses and the dots okay so now it has C1 colon colon le. So I'm going to go and do this to every single, here we are. So now if I just added all of these cards, it would give me one, two, three, four, five different uh, flashcards from this one sentence. Okay, so now let's say I want, I want le and loop to, to both uh, be hidden on the same card so that I have to come up with the article for the animal and come up with the actual word for the animal. So all I have to do is delete the two and put one. That's it. So now one, three, four, five. So I have four different cards that it will come up with. All right. And here I can put grammar and I can put uh, present tense. Okay. Because the sentence is in the present form. So I'm just going to put present and it's close and Alan learns French. I'm going to add. Okay. Now I have added some cards. So let's go back and study some of these cards. As you can see, I have six new cards and I'm going to study them now. So just a little side note, because of how I am recording this video, you will not be able to hear the pronunciation from uh, my cards, but trust me, they are there and they are nice and loud and I can hear them. And you will hear me pronouncing them as I study these cards. So down here, these are new cards that I need to practice, cards that I've gotten correct and cards that I've gotten incorrect. So, okay, verb, okay, okay, they're eating, they're eating. Okay, so the, the verb, for mon, okay, in, in the infinitive, the verb for to eat, uh, manger, manger, okay? Wow, okay, it's there. And I heard 
the pronunciation for it, so I got it correct, so I'm going to say good. I would not hit the easy button until you study lots of cards uh, every day and, and you've gotten this specific card correct, you know, two or three times. Every time you, you see this flashcard, you immediately know what the answer is. But in the beginning, it's really a good idea to just say good. Okay, what is this animal? It's a wolf. Um, oh shoot, I can't, I can't remember um, uh, le, le po poisson. Is it le poisson? Ah, dang it, le loup, le loup. So I'm just going to press again. I didn't get it right, but that's okay. Oh, wow, this sentence, okay. All right, so today I've studied uh, mangeons pizza. So what is eating the pizza? Uh, le loup, le loup, all right. Le loup, le loup, mangeons pizza, okay. I'm gonna say the whole sentence and okay, good. I got that right. Okay, okay, a wolf. Le, le loup, le loup, le loup, play it again. Le loup, good. Good. All right. Oh shoot. Le loup mange. Mange un pizza. Good. Good. Okay. See. Now each each word is coming up missing. Right. Just like I wanted. Show answer. Un pizza. Right. It's a un pizza. Okay. Un uh, un pizza. Okay. So now it's showing me the cards all again. Mange. I got that right again. So now after getting it right the second time, now it will show me tomorrow, and it's going to be the same with all of these cards because I've gotten it right before and now it's going to show me the next day. If I really wanted to and I really think that this part of the card is easy then I'm just going to press easy and it'll show me four days from now as opposed to the other cards where it will show me in one day. So I'm just gonna press easy. Okay I'm finished with my cards. Anki was built specifically for you to learn language. So uh, thank you for joining me today. Uh, if you like this video subscribe hit the bell so you know i've uploaded a video give me a like it really really helps me out last week i made a video where i connected my boozu lessons to anki i literally take screenshots from boozu and i incorporate them into my anki flashcards right i'm connecting the two to make my memory stronger right to remember more words and more grammar concepts and if you're also trying to learn English, I create videos where I am sharing American culture, knowledge about English grammar, and yeah, many, many things going on with Alan Learns French slash Alan Teaches English. So until next time.